R20 Proving Grounds. Well, we're going to do a, another card trick today. Last time we shot our cards with a Hornady 178 grain um, ballistic tip. And if you can look in the other video, it went all the way through the cards and amazed us all. This time we're going to shoot it with a little different type of bullet. We've got a round nose, and I'll show you the bullet here in a little bit. The bullet is a round nose. It's not a, a pointed uh, soft point or a ballistic tip. It is actually a round nose bullet, 180 grain. It's a little bit two tenths of a grain heavier. And uh, we're shooting it fairly close to the same velocities. And we, we don't know if it's going to punch all the way through the cars like it did last time. And, but we're going to, we're going to, let's, let's go, um, I'm going to go up to the 100 yards and with my old trusty gun and we're going to see what'll, what'll happen. And by the way, I did not shoot my foot. You'll see the boot. It's plantar fasciitis. Uh, athletes like myself, we get that. <laughs> so, um, did not, did not shoot my foot or did someone else didn't shoot my foot. I'm okay. So let's go <laughs> up to the shooting bench and let's get, let's just get her done. All right, here we are down at the, the card trick. I, I don't believe it, but we shot all the way through, all the way through it. Now there's a problem with our board. In the center, as I was cutting the grooves, I didn't cut the, the as there's about three in the center that, that are cut very shallow. And you can see on the last video, that we, had a, we had a few of them that kind of tipped over in the center. But, they, uh, they, they performed exactly the same as far as shooting all the way through the cards, not knocking them down, basically. Now, we did notice something really strange. Now, this is the first card, and I'm going to show it to you, try to get a close-up here. The first card has a hole, and it's not a perfectly round hole. It's got a little bit of a jagged hole to it. Now, the last card, when we start really getting to the last card, I'm going to show you two cards. The number two is the second from the last. It's a really deformed jagged hole and it has a lot of lead fouling around it, powder burn, something. And this is the last card. The bullet was starting to really deform. Now, we have already have to do another test because we want a sand trap down there so we can capture a bullet in the sand and try to find out how these paper cards were deforming that bullet. But it was simply amazing. We knew and some friends knew that uh, this thing would, it would just blow those cards everywhere. Now I want to show you the two different bullets. Now this is a, uh, this is a Hornady 178 grain and it has the ballistic tip on it. And these are very accurate. Now this is a Sierra round nose 180 grain flat base now you can see the difference and we're shooting a little bit slower not much slower we're going to show you the chronograph here in a second and but basically the same speed and almost the same uh, this is 178 and this bullet is 180 grain but um, it the velocities are pretty close so it's simply amazing, another, another test, another good test. And uh, next time, on part three, we're gonna, we're gonna try to capture these bullets. And we're gonna try to capture a bullet and see what happened. See why it start, the paper's starting to deform this bullet. This is a Sierra bullet, great for hunting. Um, you know, if you wanna really knock something down, this, this round nose is a good one. Um, I feel like this, I've shot this bullet a few times to make sure I was on, and I think I could shoot a, Three quarter inch group with these bullets, and they're not like a target bullet, they're strictly pretty much a hunting bullet. All right, well, thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll catch you next time. And we'll do a part three on this. And thanks a lot for stopping by, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.